Are you trying to update your Windows 11 PC, but it turns out that the Windows Update service is disabled? When you try to enable it, you get error 5 access is denied message. In this video, you will see how to fix error 5 access denied in Windows Update. Here you can see, I'm trying to update my Windows 11 PC, but it is showing update failed every time. Here I can read some description of the issue. One of the update services is not running properly, but you can try to run a troubleshooter to fix the problem. Sometimes it also displays the error encountered. There were some problems installing updates, but we will try again later. This issue is usually attached to the Windows update service. So let's check that out. Let's open the services by pressing Windows plus R button, then type services.msc and hit enter. Now in the list of all services, we will have to locate the Windows Update service. As we can see, it is disabled. That's the reason the Windows Update is not working. So let's try to enable it. But wait, here I am getting the error five. Access is denied error. And when I try to enable the Windows Update using the registry, I am also getting the same error. So let's see why this error is appearing. Typically, error five. Access is denied when a user doesn't have permission to make the change. If a user doesn't have administrator level access and tries to change these settings, he will get this error message. However, in my case, I am the administrator of this PC and I am still getting this error. So let's try to find a solution to this issue. This is the case of permissions, so we will check the Windows registry. Press Windows plus R button type regedit and hit enter. Click yes in the UAC pop-up. Here in the registry, we have to check the Windows Update section. So let's navigate to H key local machine, then system, current control set, services. Then here you will see WUA user V. We will have to check the permissions for this folder. So right click on it, then select permissions. Here we can see that the administrators or this user doesn't have full control permission. It has only red permission. We need to change that. But in order to do that, we have to first change the ownership of this location. So click on advanced. Then here besides the owner, click on change. Select advanced from here. Click on find now. You will see the list of all users and user groups. Here you can find and select your username or the user group, then click OK. OK again. Then here, make sure to select this checkbox, then click apply and OK. Now we need to give full permission to the user group and this my current user. Open the services window and start the Windows Update service. Put the service type as manual. Now you can see that Windows is checking for the updates and downloading them. That's it for this video. If you have any questions or suggestions, drop them below and share this useful video with your friends and family. Like the video and subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to press the bell button to receive alerts for videos on Windows tips and tricks.